issues of race uh, in Europe generally are very complicated, very sensitive issues. The left in Germany has not dealt with it the way they should deal with it. Um, I think there's still a lot of progress to be made um, and I'm positive about this. I think we can make it, but there's ne there needs to be um, a fundamental acknowledgement that they have failed so far. We can't use the word uh, Rasse in, in German um, because it is equal to um, speaking about biological racism. So there is no understanding or there's not enough understanding of structural racism, systemic racism, and most importantly, race as a social historical construct, political construct. Um, and also a, a very important political tool in order to uh, combat racism at a systemic and structural level. When I speak about racial equality, I include people who would not necessarily be seen as a race, um, but as racial minorities. So I'm speaking of Roma people, Muslim people, of uh, undocumented workers, descendants of migrant workers, most importantly, because generations that have been living in Germany that were born here are still seen as not belonging to the German people. So it means that they are also racial minorities, even if they have white skin. I, I, I really don't think that we need to have simple issues to have simple answers. We can have uh, complex issues and have effective responses if we just um, are open to understanding them. And I think uh, so far what's preventing us from this is the resistance. People don't want to go into this complexity because they know what it entails. And what it entails is changing a perspective that um, and this perspective um, is bringing more compromises on, on, on one of the sides, and the side is currently the size in power. We don't need to have Trump to, uh, to engage uh, in advocacy uh, for racial justice and, and, uh, and intersectional justice. Um, it means that even in the, in the Obama administration, there were a lot of things to do. Um, so I think uh, the same applies to Europe. So we may not have a Nazi government yet, but there are uh, uh, deep inequalities um, within the German population. Um, it's the same in France. It's not because Marine Le Pen hasn't come to power that we don't have this. There are gross human rights vi violations happening on uh, EU soil. It's not, we shouldn't attach a system to a personality. It's not because a person is not coming to power or because we have a person at the head of a government that is uh, perceived to be liberal that those issues do not happen. The election results will not change my political line and my political um, engagement um, in any way. It means that um, I do not expect um, the election to solve any problem um, just because it's not the AfD or um, uh, a right-wing xenophobic party coming to power. Um, so it may be easier to come into dialogue with policymakers. It may be easier to do our advocacy work um, with, um, with uh, one government more than another. But generally, our claims will remain the same. And we see that despite uh, changes in governments, um, the situation in Germany and in France and in the UK um, hasn't uh, hasn't been impacted uh, in any significant way.